The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and went as quickly as she could to a town in the hill country of Judah. She went into Zechariah's house and greeted Elizabeth. Now as soon as Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She gave a loud cry and said, Of all women you are the most blessed, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Why should I be honoured with a visit from the mother of my Lord? For the moment your greeting reached my ears, the child in my womb leapt for joy. Yes, blessed is she who believed that the promise made her by the Lord will be fulfilled. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Here we have two women model disciples of Jesus, models of faith. Elizabeth, who conceived in her old age and bore a son. Mary, as a young girl, conceived a son even as a virgin, but through the power of the Holy Spirit. So faith is making possible what is humanly impossible by God, by God's intervention into our life. But God can only work in our lives if our faith is unconditional, like Mary and Elizabeth, where we dare to trust, dare to, tr dare to trust in the Lord. In God's providence, when we dare to trust in God, will unveil itself to us. But do we sense and see God's will? Many of us do not. Why? It's because our trust in God is not yet total. Our love for God is not yet total. We love other things and have not, got, have not put God as the true foundation and center of our lives, which Mary did, where she dared to surrender her whole life, including the prospect of being stoned to death in public in God's hands. When Mary trusted God's providence and will, she knew in her heart of heart God will somehow always intervene in her life to protect her, to protect the child in the womb who is Jesus, the Savior of the world. If our hearts and faith are truly open and trusting in God's will, we will be surprised that it is a far more peaceful way of living our lives than to try to solve things and take things in our hands. What can we do for ourselves? There's very little we can do for ourselves. Today we are well, tomorrow we are sick. Today we are happy, tomorrow something take a turn in life, we're bankrupt. Today people are happy with us, just because we do some wrong, they are against us. Today we are rich, next day we are gone. Today we are popular and powerful, next day we are gone. I think there's a Chinese proverb that says, it takes 30 years to build a good reputation and only one wrong deed to destroy everything. 
So where is our foundation of life? On people? No use. That's the weakest foundation to build our life and hopes on people. Look at the families even who are quarreling. Look at parents who have given up so much for their children in sacrifice and longing for the hope of their care and love, but are disappointed in their old age. Only God can give us that true, solid, security, peace in life. That's what Mary did. She couldn't understand God's will. How can this be that I conceive a child, I'm a virgin? But the Holy Spirit will come upon you. What is that? Her heart tells her, this is God's will. She humbly submits herself and says, Thy will be done. I am merely the handmaid of the Lord. That is the humility we are speaking of. The humility of Mary is a combination of sincerity of heart that is open to, that is open to God's will, that is willing to trust God with great courage, that is willing to take all the pain and sacrifices that come our way, out of love and obedience to God. What is the opposite? The opposite of trying to live our lives and build it on God's love and foundation is to build it on people and ourselves. And what happens? We live a narrow life. We have a narrow perception of people, ourselves and of life. Distorted by our prejudices of people, of our hurts and woundedness, entrenched in our pride, traumatized by the fears and insecurities of life and the like. If we trust in the Lord, God will help us know how to build relationship, families, and our lives on solid foundation that will truly experience peace that will truly experience the fulfillment and happiness that God promises us, which is the light in the darkness of this world and in our hearts. Let us pray for that wisdom.